start. Hello everyone, I am Perry and this is my friend Arun. Today we have made a project for CBSC. The scientific idea behind our project is that the electric current flowing to the junction between the two semiconductors will emit and absorb heat at the junction in order to balance the chemical potential of the two substances. Now my friend Anna will demonstrate how the project works. Okay, so here is the prototype model of our AC geyser. So here are the parts. This is a normal CPU fan. This is a dual speed server fan. Here there is a heat sink. And even on top there is a heat sink which you can see over here. So over here is the hot side. This whole part is the hot side and this is the cold side. In the middle of all this there is the Peltier. So I will now tell you how this works. So the Peltier, uh, the hot side becomes hot and the cold side becomes cold and then heat is dispersed by this heat sink on the cold side over here and a fan passes air through the heat sink and air comes out from here through a small vent. Here is the CPU fan which is placed over here on top. Air circulates the air through this heat sink which disperses the heat. So here you can see that here is the water pump which is also needed for cooling the Peltier module. This is the pipe which takes the water back. So here you can see that this below the Peltier, I mean the heat sink is the water block. Water flows to an M shaped channel over here and circulates in the water tank which is this. The water becomes hot and the fan regulates the temperature of the water and keeps it as a, uh, at a usable level. Okay, so here you can see that this is the room temperature water. The water is about 25 degrees Celsius. So now we will uh, see the temperatures of the painter's hot side and cold side. Okay, so here the fan and all is ready. So now we are going to show you the temperatures after running it. So now the current temperature in the atmosphere is around 25 degrees. Even this water is 25 degrees. So now we will be checking the water on the hot side, how much is the temperature. So now we will put it in and we will start everything. So now you can see this fan will start. Okay, so here is the fan and the whole setup is complete. Now uh, I have switched on everything. So you can see that uh, this is the water which circulates on the hot side. So you can see that the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius now and the pump and the fan and everything is running. So this is the Peltier module which we have used uh, and uh, this is the main part in this. It does the main cooling and heating together. So here you can see all hot air goes out from here and it does not cause global warming because it's the same air from the surroundings. So same heat from the surroundings and here is the heat sink as you can see in this photo. It is the same heat sink that we are using. So here in the middle is the water block. Water is now circulating and it is heating up as it goes. So it's 41, uh, 42 degrees now. This is the uh, picture of the water block. The server fan is inside. It has two fans combined together and uh, you can increase or decrease the speed of the air flowing in it. So now you can see that it is 14.2 degrees Celsius in just a few minutes, in just one two minutes and it is continuously decreasing. Okay so now uh, you can see all the working of it. Now I hand over to my friend Mel to tell the rest of the things. As we all know that the modern day air conditioner uses a compressor that uses a lot of electricity and refrigerants that are harmful for the environment. So today we have thought of a plan to solve this problem while adding an extra advantage. We have combined an AC and a an geyser and we have called it hybrid AC geyser. 
It provides much more eco-friendly air cooling as compared to our modern day air conditioner and geysers. Now, my friend Arna will tell how he got the idea to do it. Okay, so it all started on a sunny day when I was in Pune for summer vacation. It was really hot and uh, we didn't have AC over there. So then I was thinking of how can I uh, make myself feel cool and how I can make an AC myself. So first, I made an air cooler which was working very effectively. The project was successful but uh, as you know that air coolers uh, cause lots of humidity in the air. So then I stopped using that and then I started working on another idea that was using the spelt air. I was searching on YouTube one day that how to make an AC then I came across a spelt air and I learned about it that uh, one side becomes hot and one side becomes cold. So then I started working on it. My first few attempts uh, failed but then once I came to Delhi I had to do a project of science only. So then I started uh, working with my father and he helped me in many ways. My friend here also helped me and uh, now we will be telling you the costs of uh, this project at this scale. Now the temperature has uh, reached 6.3 degrees Celsius. So now I will be telling the cost of the parts. The Peltier module cost us 300 rupees. The heat sink cost us 200. The water block along with the pump cost is 400 rupees and the server fan cost is 500 rupees. Total we spent 1400 on this project. Now I hand over to my friend Arna to continue. So here you can see that uh, you might be thinking that the costs are too high if it is at such a scaled down version that at a big scale then how much will be the cost. But uh, this all if we do mass production of this it will be very cheap and very reliable and it will be very useful to all of us and then normal air conditioners can be removed and this can replace it and this is also benefiting to the environment. So I hope you enjoyed this video on our eco-friendly hybrid AC geyser and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and this will, I'm sure this will someday uh, be saving uh, the environment and will be stopping global warming. Thank you.